Don't allow yourself or anybody else to make you feel like sensitivity is a weakness. Your sensitivity is such a powerful strength where sometimes we don't know how powerful our sensitivity is. Your sensitivity is so powerful where it allows you to tap into things and areas and potentials that you didn't even need, you didn't even know you had within your own self. Your own sensitivity will allow you to um manifest things that you didn't know you could manifest. So for me, sensitivity is the greatest quality that I could ever have. And the fact that I am so sensitive, so open and so everything, it just is such an awesome quality to have. So, and this is all part of um, your self-love journey too, because the more you go on your self-love journey, the more you become to understand your sensitivity. And you begin to understand how it's a super strength, like, it's it's a powerful thing to have within you because at the end of the day that's that's what the world needs that's what society needs you know it's just love so allow yourself to be your original self allow yourself to be the sensitive soul that you are without feeling ashamed without Feeling as though you have to put on a mask. Just be you. And when you can be you. That's when you'll start to see the results. Of everything that's been tapped in you locked away. When you can come out. And be okay with being this sensitive soul. This sensitive person that's um, hypersensitive to everything. Then you'll see the strength in that. But until you can accept that part of you, then nobody else will be able to understand that part of you. And even if nobody ever does, it's for you to understand that sensitive person, that sensitive soul, that sensitive heart that you have. The greatest thing we can give away in this life is love. The greatest thing you can give to yourself is love and compassion. So when you give all that love and compassion to yourself, the greatest thing you can give to the world is love. And you win it. When you can give love to a circumstance or a situation, but you can only give love when you're at a place of forgiveness. So for me... Is being able to tap into that place of sensitivity, that place of accepting myself for who I am. So come to a place where you can understand that you don't have to be like the rest of the world. You don't have to um, feel like you have to do what everybody else do or play the same games everybody else plays. I don't want to do that. I don't want to play the games that society plays. I want to just originally be me and love me for me and be okay with that. Because whether my love attracts people or whether it don't, that's okay as long as I have that love for myself. And those that are open to receive that love, they'll they'll receive it. And even those that aren't open to receive it, they'll receive it. But they'll receive it in the timing where they're ready. So just know that it's a superpower, it's a super strength to have such a sensitive soul, to have such a sensitive heart, to have such a sensitive spirit, and to have so much compassion. And when you can get that, you win it. 
your greatest success is your love and your peace. Your greatest success is love and peace.